broskies, what's up? It's Sona, and that's right. I'm gonna roast your artwork. May all your bacon be burned. I've been holding off doing this for a while because I was like, hmm, do I want to make people cry? And then I realized, yes, yes I do. Don't take it personally, kid. Sona draw stuff on Twitter, follow me. Give me your art and I'll roast it. Okay, Elliot, first thoughts, your fingers look like french fries. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't read this username. Boo, oh my god, boo indeed. What is this colorful mess? This looks like Garfield if he went through a scene kid phase. Okay, I like this art style, but why is her shoulder dislocated? You guys can't see me, but as we speak, I'm trying to put my shoulder that high and I literally can't. This person's art style is lovely. I love the colors they use. I actually remember this fan art from them. Unfortunately, it looks like her leg was stung by a bee and it's all swollen up. Okay, now this person just looks depressed. This looks really cool to be honest, but I think her torso is a little bit too short. Also, her hands kind of look like they're decaying into a skeleton. Maybe that's what women are into these days. SpongeBob if he took the normal pills. Wait, what? Sobbing? Why are you already crying? I haven't even got the chance to roast you yet. <laughs> Three words, sleep paralysis demon. There's no other appropriate words to describe this. Okay, you know what? I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to give them the looking up perspective, but instead their head looks like a blown up balloon. Binzi, I remember I rated your character last time in the other video. And yeah, it still looks like there's a giant zit on his head. O okay, I'm just gonna be real with you. There is so much wrong with this. I don't even know where to start. This is like a Sonic OC I would have made when I was 12 maybe. But come on, what is this color palette? Are you trying to give me a seizure? Cough, please put a mask on. Okay, I know this is from uh, Sir Palo's spooky series. This dude's body looks super muscly and bulky, but then his head is really tiny. It reminds me of that one bear plush, but the difference is that only works on the bear. Oh, 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 oh my god, okay. Can you please tell me what's going on? Listen, I love colorful art. Even this is too much for me. I already need to wear glasses. Please don't make my eyesight worse. This literally just looks like the Lenny face. Oh my god, this dude's hips do not lie. What's up with that hairline? This whole thing just looks very awkward to me, but I cannot roast those juicy hips. Oh my goodness. It's Genshin Impact. I never played it. Uh, is she okay? Why is she stretched out so much over here? It, where does her okay. arm connect? Where is the other piece of her arm? Hello? Murder me. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Twitter does not promote bullying. Please be nice and do not roast. You know what, Kylie? Just because you said that, I'm going to roast you now. I was going to say something, but I don't want to get demonetized. Damn, I remember making this for school. You made this and they accepted this? I have very mixed feelings. I love it, but I also want to hate it. This just looks like the style of one of those like overly political comics with like the wackiest proportions. But if you've never seen those comics, I envy you. What? How am I supposed to criticize you when you can't even spell the word properly? Also, you forgot something. Thing. You know, I'm just doing you a favor, okay? It really wasn't that hard. Now she can see. Here's mine. Took me 50 hours to make. You know, everything looks pretty good, but I'm afraid this woman does not have eyebrows and I have a huge problem with that. Now she can look at you in utter disappointment. Leah is back for a third time now. There is one problem though. I can't handle the thick! Okay, sorry, I got carried away. I will say you have a pretty cute art style, but this color palette is not it. I don't usually put red and purple together to begin with, just a personal preference, but I think if you change the shade of the colors just a little bit, it would look a lot better. Also, I feel like this glowy stuff up here is very unnecessary. I do want to say this is cute, but I can't because they are very clearly staring into each other's soul and not in a good way. Like those eyes, they have murderous intent, okay? Make the pupils bigger and then I won't be scared. Okay, guys, when you send me characters, make sure they have clothes on. Dear Lord. Okay, your art style is genuinely really good, but this character design is completely ruined because of the colors you chose. Like, it looks like he played the game, designed it in Roblox, and he chose the only three clothing options they had. He has spilled the ketchup, mustard, and relish on his shirt. This is cute, but how are you wearing fishnets and nothing else? This is clearly in violation of the school dress code. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but I am extremely uncomfortable. Oh my goodness. Legs, legs, legs. This girl has to crawl into every building that she wants to go into because she cannot fit. Also, I'm just gonna be honest, because of how defined their knees are, I thought they weren't wearing pants and then I realized they are wearing pants and now I'm just really confused What is this abomination me when I have foot enlargement for the most part everything else looks fine But then I just look at the eyes and it looks like they're melting everything just 
looks very sunken in. Another person who only put one eyeball. Why do people do this? Like, I maybe understand if they put a shadow over it or something, but it's just not there. It's gone. Well, it's good to see at least some people put effort into their art. I did not know that ice cubes could look like this. Also, why does he look like Roblox? I was honestly gonna say, this looks really, really good, but then I saw the hand. Maybe, uh, you know, do something about that. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Here's your actual drawing of the body, but then you put a PNG image of a motorcycle and a disco ball. I rarely have the time to draw. Yeah, I see that. That's why half the stuff is taken from Google. Also, how can this man see? He's gonna get into an accident. Cute style, but her neck is way too thick. Last time I checked, I don't think the neck is supposed to be nearly the same size as the torso, but maybe that's just me. Okay, at first I was confused as to why this character is screaming, but now I see why. It's because her hand got smashed with a hammer. I tried. Are you sure? My crappy OC. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my art. I could literally play tic-tac-toe in the middle of her eyes with how big the space is. This person drew their Roblox avatar, so I'm automatically gonna give this a zero. Listen, okay, I've tried to shut Among Us out of my life, but how can you mess this up? It is so easy to draw Among Us. Like, look, I'm using my mouse. You could have drawn this, okay? But instead, you drew this. He is a tumor. You know, your art style is really cool, but this fire just reminds me of my fart cloud after I eat Taco Bell. <laughs> this looks more like the Pillsbury Doughboy than a Teletubby, I'm sorry. My art style has the consistency consistency of water. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this one looks like way too much. I had to stare for a while to figure out where her eyes were. Also, interesting choice of eyelid color. He's got a really cute smile going on, or she, I don't judge here. But at first glance, I thought the hair was the poop emoji. <laughs> what is this? Why did you make this? I'm sorry, Sona. Yeah, you better be. Okay, Kane, genuinely, this is the worst fan art I've seen. I'm not even saying this because this is a roasting video. I'm saying it because it's true. It looks like you've poured some emotional trauma into this drawing. I could have gone my whole life without having to see this. All right, she's really cute, but those hips are way too wide. All right, I know you're trying to make her look thick, but I have not met a single person whose proportions work like this. Please send her to the ER. Alexi, you forgot to erase this line. I am very disappointed in you. This person has been gifted with Satan's elbow. Sometimes I just get the feeling that you guys really don't want me to sleep tonight and also that you need therapy. Kind of reminds me of one of those bobblehead figures. Oh my goodness, the third time, guys. The other eyeball! I don't care if you're trying to make her hair look like it's covering the eyeball. There's still a big visible patch of skin right here. For it to be hidden, it would have to be all the way over here. Okay, maybe I should roast myself for the eyeball. Oh my god. Do it. I dare you. Skill issue. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just feel very, very very bored when I look at this drawing. Just seems very flat to me. I think you should add more shading and stuff. This reminds me of toothpaste, and I hate toothpaste. It's you, it's me, ignoring this right here. Very cute, but uh, I'm very sorry to inform you guys, I do not go to the gym, so my legs are actually not this bulky. I probably should go to the gym, to be honest. Okay, I love, love, love your weird and cool art style, but this dude's Adam's apple is way too large. Looks like he's about to choke on it. This looks like one of the rejected Poppy Playtime characters. He just uh, didn't cut it for the game, you know? Roast me so hard that I turn into a burnt marshmallow. Wow, uh, okay. The colors suck. Anything can be art. Ooh, this person sent me a gingerbread house. I really want to make one of those. You know what? I do gotta give you credit because I've actually never been able to complete one of these before because I suck at making these. If an old lady tried to go through this door, she would break all her bones because she would land on the piles of rocks. I've seen like so many furry arts where they put these weird squiggly like glowing lines on their face. What does this mean? Can someone please tell me I only draw Sonic. I, I don't know. That doesn't look like Sonic to me. I think you meant to say abomination. Okay, we got a Roblox guest with a pair of headphones, a gun, and a maid outfit. Why have you done this? This image fills me with rage and I don't know why. Okay, bro master, your art is always great and I love your style. I remember you saying you worked really, really hard on this piece and you're very proud of it, but there is one little nitpick I have to make. See, this part of her arm is way too thick and also if I line it up and I try to connect it up here, it does doesn't fully look right. By the way, I drew this with my eyes closed. Hey, how many fingers she got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fingers, bro. Also, that wrist is swollen. It's so funny how easy it is to tell something is AI art just by looking at the hands. Also, her umbrella is fused with her hair. It looks like when you were coloring her hair, you went out of the line art layer and it kind of just created a mess. Also, those heels look really uncomfortable. Oh my god. Oh. I'm looking at this and I'm genuinely feeling dizzy.
dizzy. Dude, you could like make someone pass out with this background. Holy crap. Wow, uh, this is definitely the best drawing I've seen all day. Clearly, look at all that effort. I'm not gonna lie, some of these submissions have made my head hurt with all the rainbow everywhere. But there's also a lot of submissions that were actually so good, I couldn't find a reason to roast them. So good job, guys. Uh, but to anyone who I roasted, you asked for it. Of course, this was all for fun. So please don't send a SWAT team to my house. I may or may not do this again in the future. By the way, broskies, if you do want to see some really cool art and possibly wear it or put it on your wall, feel free to go check out my shop. Link in description. This witch picnic is my personal favorite. And yeah, okay, bye!